<laughs> Somebody, oh, he needs some milk. The <laughs> motherfucker said, "You see, I'm running." Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, hi like, everybody. What did it's you do? Being a podcast <laughs> was fucking live, and I spilled fucking wine on my fucking laptop. Cause I'm sitting in a fucking house for 24 hours, been stuck in this bitch for three fucking days, and can't go a fucking place. So I'm going crazy. I'm like, Kev, I'm gonna put a top to this. Yeah, yeah, do smart um, things. Do smart um, things. Do smart <laughs> things. <laughs> what the fuck up, man? Joe. Hey, yeah. what's up, everybody? It's the Opinionated Podcast, and we are your hosts. Cool, Kev. Bro, Dad, it's your turn. Dad, I'm here. <laughs> and I'm big and I'm big Dre. Uh today is gonna be a little bit different. Uh it's day one of quarantine. And oh, uh Dad, honestly, Dad. we're just gonna talk about our experiences. And some of them are, some of us are gonna learn to turn things down. And we're gonna uh we're gonna see what people are trying to do, you know, what they like to do or what they're able or capable of doing. And how many, how many of, of these corona babies are gonna pop up in nine months, ten months? That don't mean people you know I mean? maybe eleven them. months. The that government people... might. They government gonna be giving out them checks. We'll be talking about that if they if they gonna be giving out these checks or not. You know what the I mean? Gov- the also, government not even taking care of us. <laughs> we can talk. We we gonna be talking about some funny things like uh, did you see the the whole Trump uh? press the press conference that they had with trump with the reporter or when he nah. asked him, no when he asked him, the fuck out what, is, how, what would he say he said what what would he say to the millions of people who are scared and, and who are hurt and who've been devastated by this yeah. what would you tell them and he was like well i told him you're a terrible reporter <laughs> I, yeah i saw that shit what's up frank what up frank a I like that don't Glad you know. tune in yeah. with us that shit dope as fuck. That's dope, 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 that's dope. So, uh, come on, let's get into it, Kev. What we got on the plate for today? Press this on your conscience. Oh mm-hmm. my God. What I got, what I got on? Never mind. We're stuck in the fucking house amidst the coronavirus as, as racist as our president. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go down his racist rant line. He, call, he calls it the Chinese virus. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> Kind of virus. It's not, it's not fucking right either, dog. It's not wrong. It's not right <laughs> it came either. from China. <laughs> At least that's what they're telling us that it came from China. Yeah, I know that it came from China. But these fucking American <laughs> heads up, man. Like I was nervous to go to the fucking uh Chinese buffet because I'm like the fucking corona buffet. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get no buffet, bro. <laughs> That was so racist. <laughs> that was very racist. No, but the, Damn, don't know how no, to I know, racist. but it's just like <laughs> the media is not doing a fucking good job of like covering this shit and informing us how to fucking avoid this that's shit. That's why they're taking shit down left and right because people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Hell yeah, it's just crazy. They just put out any kind of misinformation. So it was like, Coronavirus is getting uh, real. I don't know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just the fucking craziest shit ever. Like, you got people yeah. part of all the, let's, let's start there. The hoarders. The hoarders? The hoarders. The, hoarders. the people that are the buying hoarders? up hoarders. Niggas that <laughs> buy up fucking 20 fucking cases of fucking toilet paper. Like, how many times you got to wipe, how long do you think you'll be locked in your place where you start, can't wipe your ass no more? My question about that is, did you ever stop to think that maybe you could just get in the shower and wash your ass when you're done taking a shit? You have to buy that much toilet paper that you'd rather spend money on toilet paper than food or water or anything else or save some of that money, the hundreds of dollars you spent on water or, or uh, toilet paper and fucking masks and dumb shit that they be purchasing now. Hey, and and bro, said you decided I, to you want to spend all the money on that one. You can just wash your ass, right? You can wash your ass. And, I, I, I think we're focusing on the wrong shit. 
the the right shit is that my fucking suit got a collar on that motherfucker. <laughs> That's the right shit. No hood, yeah. a collar. But no, but Kev, yeah. but Kev, how many people want to want to sit in fucking brown water as they're taking a shower and they just took a mean ass shit? <laughs> you don't sit in brown water. I do. I'm just saying, that brown water got hit your feet. You got to stand in the shower. You gonna look like oh, you got to bend over. You got you gonna have to bend over and let the water hit your ass first. You have to treat it like you're skiing or something. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> just... <laughs> <laughs> your cheek. Oh shit! Niggas yeah. in jail. They done been there. Sometimes. Yo, but uh, like. That is crazy. crazy. Like I can understand. Um, I can dope. understand everybody like buying up all the disinfectants and everything like that, and, and food. The toilet paper, dog. Motherfuckers must never ever wipe uh, wipe their ass shit in the woods. Wipe their ass with them big ass jungle leaves. <laughs> yeah. What? You, you you ever been in the woods before? You had the shit. You had to find something to wipe your ass. You got one of the biggest leaves you can find. And you wipe your ass with a leaf. <laughs> I've never been in that situation a day in my fucking life. I lived in the city. You're from the city, so you never had, had to wipe his ass with a brick. <laughs> a nigga wipe his ass with a brick belong in jail. He belong in jail. You was made for that life, nigga, if you wipe your ass with a brick. Nigga, just use this. Oh, you be in the house. Or you see a nigga come back with one sock, like, dog, what happened to your sock? <laughs> bro, I had to take a shit, bro. I had to take a shit. What was that That's show all. that they made where you had to live off the land and uh, it was competition between teams and shit like that? Survivor? Lost. Survivor, Survivor. Yeah. I don't, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. I think so. Yeah, that's yeah, the first. Lost that's... was just an awesome show. Now, you remember Naked and Afraid? Oh, you ever heard of the show Naked and Afraid? You get to take, like, one item to survive? Who a boy knife. Yeah, what dumb ass would take a roll of toilet paper with him? <laughs> Second and afraid sounds like the story of Stedman's life for the first 20 years. With Oprah? Oprah? With Oprah? <laughs> Naked and afraid. Naked and fucking rich. That's what that yeah, motherfucker that that is. She put yeah. that nigga, she put she put that nigga in the fucking uh in the guest house and she made him live there naked. <laughs> Wait would you? for me. I would. I would still be afraid. What, hey, speaking of which, what do you guys oh, think I about that? I never sent Dre that, that uh, message I showed you. I meant to send him that. What, what do y'all? Speaking of which, what do you guys think of the uh, the video with Lil Yachty dressing up as Oprah? It's called Oprah's Bank Account. What, what do you think what? of that? That's a little. That's a little weird. You, you thought that was weird? Yo, did, uh, I don't know if y'all seen, but my homie, uh, we are Monster MC. He he commented on that, and Little Yachty said something back, and they put it back on an article. I think it was on uh, damn, I can't remember which social site it was. It was a hip hop social site though, <clears throat> and Little Yachty like kind of called them out. I don't know if I can go and yeah, I don't know if I can go and look it up without leaving the stream. Is that possible? No, yo, so leave, yo leave the stream. No, it's like no. Nah. Nah. Why are we leave the stream? Oh, yeah, yeah. Talking, we're talking yeah, about yeah. All right, yeah, I can look at it. What is he doing? What the hell's going on? Sound, sound effects. I was trying to get uh, sound effects right, but fuck it. We ain't doing that today. Kev just we cut out. That. We just lost Kev. You didn't lose me. Just, I'm listening. Uh, I'm the here. The government man. just caught this nigga misquoting the uh, COVID-19. <laughs> 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 cut his fucking, cut his fucking <laughs> camera off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if that was the case, if that was the case, everybody would be getting kicked off. It's so many people with so much misinformation about this shit. I don't pretend to know. I don't pretend to know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to this shit. All I know is some but people lying, some people not. Here go the funniest thing I fucking noticed, right, about this whole coronavirus. I go to the grocery store. Let me finish this one I'm saying. Go to the grocery store. I see people okay. masks, gloves, fucking suits, protective suits. Would be the same people who meet a chick in a club, take her home, and clap that ass raw that night. <laughs> Not knowing what this bitch got, but you in there fucking got gloves on for something that's pretty much the flu. I mean, you can't <laughs> die from it, but you can die from AIDS too. And you can get yeah. from uh, syphilis, and, yeah. and you don't want to hurt these dicks. But that's oh my gosh. Me. <laughs> but that's what kills me. Like, niggas is, is suited and booted to the T. 
But we'll fuck somebody raw they don't even know on the first night. Sue the boot it. It, it, it. The thing is, man, with these people, with these people, the, the government is, not the government, excuse me, the media is ensuing fear. Yeah, right? I think the government so, controls the media. All that shit, social media, yeah. all that shit is fear. <clears throat> so, like, it's people who don't even know why they're doing it. They're just doing it. But they'll do something like, like, uh, all right, like, with me and my daily travels, like, yeah, I might wipe. I, I got a whole bunch of hand sanitizer that I had before this shit happened. Why? Yeah. Because I want to clean my hands. Uh, yeah. I want a whole bunch of hand sanitizer. I hand sanitize my hands. I wear gloves when I'm working. And I still got to touch shit the whole day. You got to touch shit. Yeah. You got to. You're going to touch some shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But wash your hands and do all that shit. But it's like, people wasn't doing that from the jump. How many times you go into a wild, wild fucking bathroom? And I'm sorry for my white, for my white. Yeah, listeners. oh, go ahead and say. Yo, middle aged white men to, to older white men, y'all will take a full Gosh, on, they just a full old, on old shit. Piss. Oh, yeah. well, no, nigga. Shit, piss, whatever. And literally wink at you as they're walking out the door without Yo, washing their fucking well, hands. These I niggas is crazy. I'm the only racist motherfucker that knows that shit. I ain't calling myself racist. Take no white dude's hands at my job. I give oh, them like man. a side. See, you went to a whole brother. nother. <laughs> It's all no, sorry. <laughs> all white Yo. people, but I had a white one of my boss, deep white. We're both taking the, we did not share the same opinions as Kevin. We like not at all. No. No. Listen, listen, what to say? We're both in the bathroom. We're both taking a piss. We get done <laughs> around the same time. I go to proceed to wash my hands. This nigga just walks smooth out the bathroom. He's a man. They winked at you. He's a manager, so how many people hands he yep. got to shake a day and say, hey, <laughs> what's <Yep>. up? <laughs> e, e. Coli, e. Coli, e. Coli all on niggas' hands, bro. Yo, exactly. E. Coli. Yo. This shit's crazy. That's what it's I'm absolutely saying. crazy. Finally, like, not all yeah. white people, but mostly half of middle-aged white men, y'all washing your hands now. We thank y'all. That's because they so rich. They be like, I got too much like, money. I buy new hands. I'm sorry. It's niggas, yo, yeah. It, it, it is cr- like this shit is bringing out a whole new side of people. So I, I've heard people now. My wife went shopping and did all that shit. How many of y'all niggas went shopping and motherfuckers like, like was rude to you and bumped you and shit like that? Because that hasn't happened to me. No. I- I had people like bump into you by accident, like, oh, sorry. No, nah, bump into you and say, fuck you, nigga. Like, on some, like, nah, nigga, I gotta get this toilet paper. My ass dirty. Bro, I, no. Let's say, nah. bigger, unless they bigger than me, they want nah. that sauce, I ain't had nobody bump into me. Because I'm not, so, I'm gonna fight. If they bigger than you, you're not fighting them? Yes, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna slap so, so, I'm gonna stretch you, then I'm gonna take your toilet paper, and then I'm gonna go pet cast that shit out and go home. Now you knock That sounds out. like jail. You knocked out. You didn't come home with toilet paper. Your jaws, your jaws all bloody the fuck up. You started it. I just that sounds like jail. That's not jail. Yeah, it's called protecting yourself, standing your ground. We're, jail rules. We don't live in a standing your ground state. <laughs> yeah, we don't. <laughs> You're getting locked up, motherfucker. You're getting one hundred percent locked up. Yo, listen. What's up, Black Cherry? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta learn, Kev. You gotta learn the smooth. Chop some through, Ta-ta! and then take the toilet paper and be out. Oh, <laughs> if, it ain't, if it ain't a camera in that aisle, I look up and ain't a fucking camera directly looking at that aisle. My back to it. No, oh, you're catching. Kev, you're going to scissor kick that nigga without looking for a camera, dog. No. Oh, yeah, you are. I'm yeah, not you gonna look like? Uh, you know? <laughs> I'm just going you, to do a little bit of work real quick. You know what I'm saying? You look up, make sure I'm going to look like Booker T. Scissor kick a nigga into the house. Make sure I'm going to look like a business nigga business. Just, you're definitely going to. Sorry. Yeah. You got to get this work real quick. You're not going to bump me. I can me. see that. You're not going to bump me and not say my bad and then look at me like, fuck you and don't think shit's going to go cool. It, wait, and snatch it, toilet paper out of your cart. It's not. 
Dog, I'm it's gonna only slap three five left. On slap hey, five you waited in line. Um, <laughs> you waited in line for this TP. Um, and your butt five. is filthy. Five. I'm gonna and your butt is filthy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slapping so hard that you shit yourself and you needed that toilet paper. That's how hard I'm gonna slap oh, wow. you. Yeah, <laughs> niggas out here dying for this TP, I'm baby. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not, I don't want, that's why I'm glad, like, all these fucking people that do them fucking Facebook, Walmart videos that try to be funny, I'm glad I just never bumped into these guys. Yo. I'm sorry. On, on a side note, I fucking, what's up, Black Cherry? I fucking hate that you ever think about the motherfuckers in the Walmarts playing with people? Yes. Yo, yo, I think you can knock the fuck out. Yo, yeah, these yo, these type of times, yo. These you get to beat times, the fuck up. Bro. You oh get my god, <laughs> nigga try to dunk on you playing like, oh, you catch that nigga German suplex into the motherfucking <laughs> rope, dude, nigga. I can see that happening. Then you walk away. Then you look at the camera, give him a thumbs up. Yeah, put that on your fucking <laughs> camera, you little. Little dipshit, fucking dickhead. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. Like, on, don't, don't play with me, dog, with that shit. Uh, I don't know. Look, look, I don't like the shit. The virus got out. everybody <laughs> on edge. The government about to, rage, they about to rage your shit because you got that motherfucking time back zoom on. I'm <laughs> here. Yeah. You there? I'm here. You just oh, black. Oh, you cut out? Yo, nah, nigga. I'm <laughs> trying to protect myself in my house. <laughs> From your who? Your kids? Your wife? Yes, I had this shit on way before the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> I had this shit on way before, nigga. I don't play the fuck around. No draws. What the hell? You no draws put your ass in the camera. No right. draws sure underneath never, this. Nobody know what's going back there. Somebody just seen two peanuts just swinging, dog. <laughs> what you say? Somebody said they just seen two peanuts swinging. <laughs> Ain't no peanuts, nigga. Ain't no peanuts. <laughs> Oh, I ain't gonna find. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna go no further. Ain't no peanuts. <laughs> solid. <laughs> huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> horse exactly. Niggas getting yeah. horse collared out in fucking Walmart I'm a, playing I'm around fucking, with people. Uh, catch a nigga with a bulldog, nigga British bulldog through the aisle. Ah, oh, yeah, but like that Walmart shit. Like, <laughs> like people are getting stupid at Walmart. I understand. Like shit is bad. It ain't that bad yet. You know what I'm saying? It really ain't. You so, so you have to get your ass with bad, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. do you guys think it's going to get that bad? I'm, I'm afraid. I don't know. We are going, going to Cam Crib. Huh? Yeah. 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 We're going to Cam Crib. Yeah. That's where yeah. we're going to be able to hold the four that. You got to come. You, you, you down, right? Yeah, you got to come with food, though. You can't come Kev, with I can I do that. It. Dog, you just, did, you just redid your fucking. Um, you're like your fucking, your, your, what you gonna call it and shit, niggas? We gonna be warm, we gonna be cool, huh? all that shit. You we gonna be your... armed. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be armed. Yeah, I, I wanna get a gun. You wanna get a gun in the my... Yeah. Nowadays, it's gonna be hard to find a gun, but I need one legally. Yeah. Legally. What y'all think? Will, will it matter at that point? I mean, what, when I kill people? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, if it's if if we're if we're going into an apocalypse, we're going to apocalypse. Yeah. What if they shutting us down for martial law? Oh shit! What First of all, get ready to run Marshall. down on people. I call Marshall. Yeah. It's not happening. Mavericks. He's with him. Look, <laughs> listen, y'all know that. Y'all, have y'all seen the military vehicles? Yeah, I've seen them around. I haven't like riding around. No, I haven't. It's yo, it's niggas out there, bro. I got the inside track. It's niggas out there right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is wild, bro. Okay, what you gonna do when they come for you? Come for who? Me? Yeah. <sighs> bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Get my hunting. I'm gonna get my hunting license. I'm gonna get my hunting license. You gonna get your hunting license? Yeah, but what you gonna do when they come for you? Ain't nobody coming for me. Don't come for me, dog. Okay. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> don't come for me. Ain't nobody coming for me. There's a kick specialist. Don't come for me. Just, <laughs> let's, just be, let's just be nice. Dude. Let's get along. That's all I say. Don't come for me. Look, they cut. See, they keep. Can't talk about that martial law shit. They keep cutting the camera out, motherfucker. No, they don't. <laughs> Yo. You no, know, they don't. You gonna see a Navy SEAL raid team, Bruce and Cam Kick, who's talking about martial law? Oh man! 
We got, we got an army. What an army got? Wait. Look, he's gone. I told you. I see. Marshall. You can't. T- Government ain't playing that bullshit, dog. They, they cut niggas' cameras off. They cut the camera off. Oh, bro. I told All right. y'all. You got to so be careful your... what you say around <laughs> this motherfucking part as far as it comes to this coronavirus shit, dog. You just can't be out there the same whatever. Listen. I want I want niggas to understand, right? We do we do we we worked hard to bring this shit to y'all. So we 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 trying. This is our first time using this platform. Whoever who, if whoever comes from me, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I'm exactly. As look, you said. There he goes. Yeah, Trump, I'm back. Look, Trump was just at this nigga door and say, "Shut the fuck up about Marshall." Trump came by. They threw a little EMP. My shit went off and on. I was like, "The <laughs> fuck is going on?" Man? Everything turned off, and I was like, "Shit!" Yeah, I know. I was like, "This." Man. Hey, bro, it's Marshall. He's <laughs> coming for you. Yeah, it's Marshall. Dog, if if that was if look if the government look, look, cut his shit off, he in the military. He knows what's going on. What's going on, Elijah? You better not be on their side. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's ex- I think that's exactly what's happening. What are you talking about? <laughs> Marshall not co- hey, hey cuz Marshall not coming? No, he ain't say nobody coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Marshall ain't coming. Is he probably gonna do a raid on somebody's crib right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I looked around, I was like, the fuck hey, is going on? Hey, My listen, microwave hey. turned on, started heating up the food. Where? Hey yo, oh, y'all shit. hear y'all hear about this thing with in Philly that what? um Steve Keeley tweeted and said, hey, uh, because we're locked down, they're not arresting nobody for uh, for drugs, for uh, what you call it, and then they can start committing crimes and get locked the fuck up. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that shit. Oh, shit. Y'all, Y'all see that shit? Yo, that's the thing. Huh? Niggas is stupid. You believe anything you hear on the internet. <laughs> niggas out there busting traps in front of cops. Like, fuck these niggas. Hey, it's a lockdown, bitch. Hey, <laughs> coming to get me. Nah, nah. nah nigga, you're you're locked in. Up, Fuck your lockdown, nigga. You are yeah, arrested. Nigga. You got, you, yeah. them niggas got a quarantine. They ain't even want. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> them niggas they got have the fucking go. right to remain silent. They got a three month quarantine. <laughs> you ain't even for Yo. Oh, man, look. So, how is this ruining y'all plans? Is this ruining any of y'all plans? I know it's. Oh, crazy. yeah, man. I had mad no. shit that I was going to do this weekend with my lady, and now I can't do nothing. Her ass went to work. Like, fuck it. Oh, so, get the money then. Get the money. Yeah. I'm gonna go. As far as my, I mean, I ain't really wrong too much shit. Like, for me, I still got to fucking work and all that bullshit. Yeah. Um, me too. You went to work? Yeah, I got to go to work. I know you and I know Dre work this weekend. Can you go to work this weekend? I got no, I gotta work tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but still, it just like it's fucking up. I can't go, I can't go to the restaurant, nothing, do nothing. Ain't working. You in jail longer now. Yo, that's yo, I will be so fucking mad if I'm in jail and they like, nah, we on lockdown. You gotta stay here. Nigga, can yeah. you shit me in my meals, brother? Yeah, man. Black cherry. Bro, I'm a home, I'm a homebody too. Uh, black cherry. I'm a black. I'm a homebody. Too. I'm a homebody, but sometimes you need to do stuff just to do stuff. Like, like we always home. It's like, all right, come on, let's go bowling or something, or let's go to the movies. You know what I mean? But other than that, the whole going to the supermarket shit. That's in the way. <laughs> hey, get that little fucking monster. Shut that little monster up in the background. I can't. I can't. He do what he want. It's his house now. I'm on his time. Oh yeah, I need to sleep back right here. But like, it's business as usual for me tomorrow. Like, only thing is, I got a big ass fucking tractor. I mean, truck I got to drive. So usually I go to get something to eat for lunch. Like I go park up, walk inside, yeah. get some lunch. Nah, now, you ain't doing that through. tomorrow, nigga. I gotta walk nigga the drive through. I gotta walk the drive through. I literally yeah. gotta. Nah, you better you better bring a lunch, motherfucker. But man, listen, dog. Eat listen. Shit. Easier said than done when you're waking up two o'clock in the fucking morning. Like this is the last thing you're thinking about is fucking lunch. It's like it's gonna be the first thing you think about at ten o'clock. I say, I say, yeah, I fuck with the movies. Yeah, then no movies. I wrote about the movies yesterday, and that shit was a fucking ghost town. No cars, no nothing, bro. It's it's crazy. You know what's holding the fort down? What? Wawa. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow, wow, they essential. Wow, wow. In the epic center, fucking niggas out there getting the sandwiches, yeah, they hand serving coffee, motherfuckers. Like, nah, don't touch shit, don't touch nothing. If you touch it, you buy it, and then we not even put, we handing you bags, and you put it in your own bag, and somebody mm. going, and we got a nigga to open the door for. We don't want you to touch shit. Matter of fact, you better come in here on the cloud and glide in here. If you want to order food <laughs> on the Nimbus. Food, you better, the flying you, better use, you better use telepathy and order your food. Don't touch shit and don't breathe. <laughs> Yo, I they got hella policies in there. I put the Wawa and I'm get a hoagie in the morning. And I seen this old lady cough and hack in and shit didn't look right. Can't <laughs> push her out the way. Push her out the way. Shot her, her, shot her, shot her, shot her. This bitch is the one making a sandwich. And I'm like, ah, damn. I want to fucking... Holy, so bad. Bro, she was making the fucking sandwiches, dog. No, oh, she coughed like three or four fucking times. She looked as bad. I just looked at that bitch and I'm like, damn, how bad do I really want a fucking hoagie right now? Not that I bad. No, nah, I want to get a bag of chips and whatever else was sealed and contained. I just got yeah. them like this. Like that's that, that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. The coronavirus is fucking shit up because it has you think it's have you second guessing shit and like damn this bitch got the corona or she just a fucking smoker like what the fuck is it? Shit is real, dog. It's but it's a lot of that you pay attention to that more. But the, you know you know what's crazy though? If a nigga if a motherfucker was coughing before all this shit making my fucking sandwich, I'm already looking around like bitch, you serious? Like nah, yeah. I'm all right and walk out the I walk out the fucking uh, store. Nah, I'm cool. I'm, yeah. Oh, you want your sandwich? Nah, it's yours. It's yours now. You can have it. It's my gift to you. Yes, and I'm not paying for it like, either. In the background, like, like, bitch. Coughing, in her, coughing in her arm, but like, <laughs> not serious. So long story short is you ate the sandwich. No, I ate shit. You <laughs> the motherfucking thing. <laughs> you ate the sandwich. You're the fucking thing. Listen, that nigga, <laughs> you put right. extra mustard on mine. Mustard right. kills germs. <laughs> That's a fact. Well, smoking more, smoking mustard. more, drinking more. Yeah, fucking more. Killing my brain. You, know, you, know, you know what's funny though? It's a lot of motherfuckers that's, that's fucking their girl now, and they happy with their girl because they can't get to their side bitches. <laughs> See <laughs> Hey, hey, like they said, you start learning new shit about you start learning new shit about your girl that you've known for 20 years. Damn, you like that? That's your favorite color? (laughs) That's crazy. I didn't know she had this in her. I was just I didn't know she had this in her. (laughs) I'm just in here here substituting with the other bitch because it was easy. All I do was stay home for three days. (laughs) And I could have got these I love and I love her again. (laughs) Who knew? Who knew? That's um, terrible. There's a lot of side bitches that are losing their man today because <laughs> of this quarantine. <laughs> Lonely. Or side niggas losing their bitches. Side chicks because of this quarantine. How the fuck do the side bitches lose their man? It's <laughs> not taking their man. <laughs> lose their hopes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow they lose their You man. said you was going to leave her. Right? Nah, bitch, coronavirus is around. I don't trust nothing but oh. what I got. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with I got. <laughs> I don't want to travel. Y'all know. I seen that little nigga you had. Nah, he got the sniffles. I ain't coming back. <laughs> yeah, fuck that shit. Like, yeah, yeah, bitch, listen. She cool. I taught her how to suck dick. <laughs> you know We're going I mean? crazy now. <laughs> We're going crazy. A little <laughs> off the rails. Yeah, but that's no. what I'm saying. Like, he re- a lot of a lot of people that you know had this side, had this side <laughs> <laughs> they size they size niggas and bitches they 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 normal now that it's everything's back to normal you 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 getting your you rejuvenating your love you know what I'm saying oh so so what you try to say is this coronavirus is rekindling relationships yeah. bringing you back bringing that old thing back to the new yeah, you let us know. or or you let us know. Or, oh, what? so so what you trying to say is this? Or, virus is rekindling relationships. Sorry, guys. What the hell is going on? Hey, on, on no. I'm trying. My computer is slow as shit. We yeah, but you know now by putting your comment up there. Shit is real. Coronavirus. 
Yeah. You see that? All right, sorry. Kids eat free at Dickie's Barbecue nationwide today, every Sunday. Free child meal with adult purchase. People so need to help Dickie's. Help, I don't help know. Dickie's delivers. Like Go to Dickie's. Dickie's so where is Dickie's, Claudia? Huh? Dickie's serving their lunches with full of uh, full fucking uh, virus-free kids. Virus on <laughs> yeah. But your kids go, eat go to free. Yeah, your kids but eat your kids free. free. Your kids eat free, and you know what? That's that's right. You know what? No bullshit. That is something that people need right now. Because all states. All states. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen the Dickies in the area. I'm gonna look for one. I'm gonna definitely yeah, look for one it. now. Yeah. Oh, said but. But. All what? kids eat for free at Dickies, and they deliver. oh, and they deliver. And they yeah. deliver. So what they're saying is they're open. Yeah. Thanks, Claudia. Through this tragic times, and if you're looking for somewhere to eat, we a little hurt on money today. Today is Sunday. They are delivering, and kids do eat free. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we try. People Let's, need to eat. We are trying. We are trying. But the stipulation oh, is, oh, if you oh, order kids oh, food, oh, when they deliver the food, you got to present the children. Oh, we're in Jersey. Out <laughs> here in South Jersey, we're in New Jersey. Uh, Sickleville, Winslow, Clementon, Camden County, Atlantic County, somewhat, a little bit of Gloucester County. Who? Us, where we located. These Different are the spots, areas. areas that we are connected to. In New Jersey, oh. though, that we're located in New Jersey, that easy access to us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get back to the shenanigans again. What else is going on since the coronavirus? Um... I don't know, man. I'm burning through a lot of lotion. You burn through. <laughs> I'm ashy. No, I'm just sorry. getting ashy. No, we know, we ashy in between the abdomen and the kneecap. <laughs> yo, you, 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 yo, if you lotion up your whole lower body to masturbate, you you need to be thrown in prison. You need to be thrown in a fucking psychiatric ward in prison. I don't know. Like maybe you be in quarantine, you jerk it off more. Hey, bro. No, this nigga said. This nigga said you you lotion your whole lower body to masturbate. You and your kids like like the 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 Think about that. That means that means when you stroking that, you got stroking from your knees. You got stroking like this. <laughs> <laughs> you burn. You burn through a lot of lotion. I know you're a chronic masturbator. You watch a lot of porn. I'm like damn, this nigga. Hey, yo. This jerk, now, like discovering new jerk off. <laughs> no, like, so look, so look, so when you when you get when you like say when you single because I ain't burning through a lot of lotion. But like back in the day, like when you single, it feel like you in quarantine. Yeah, when you like single, you you go yeah. through lotion. Porn scenes get old, man. You start get, you start getting disappointed in yourself. You start watching. You start to say like, "What the fuck am I doing?" You when, when you run out of lower, porn scenes, you lower your standards completely at that point. Like hmm. the next that. piece, the next piece that comes through, it's mine. I'm taking it down. I'm taking it. Down. I'm taking it down. I need man, to get I over to home. <laughs> Infomercials. What'd you say? Like niggas just start jerking off the infomercials. Like this bitch that's selling these bracelets looking kind of hot right now. Gotta be a sexy ass <laughs> infomercial. <laughs> selling hot them bracelets, girl. <laughs> Go in that box, give me that bracelet one more time. <laughs> Ooh, let me see that wrist. Oh, Ooh. that wrist look good. <laughs> she <laughs> she <laughs> lotion on it. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> she must lotion from her fingertips to her elbows every day. <laughs> <laughs> So so okay so who's quarantining and chilling cuz I definitely have not done that. All right, I, I, well, I, I have. I got a family. So last night I actually played game I had a family game night. Okay. Watch Angry Birds 2 which was pretty funny. The kids had me watching it. Um Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. It um, wasn't bad. We actually you had You're bored. I'm yeah. fucking bored. Fuck out of here. Okay. Uh you're bored. Yeah, we bored. went to yeah. It was it's boring. We went to two supermarkets in two days. I never do that. Uh, oh, that's your idea, of fun. We started watching uh, the Stranger on Netflix. That was pretty good. Um, we started watching. Well, we've been watching the Resident. Uh, the new nine one one series started back up, so we started that. Uh, watching the, the other nine one ones. We've been watching Bro. a lot of TV. 
and of course, you know, having having sexual intercourse. I chilling. understand. Chilling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other part of that. Yo, yeah. listen, because uh, because that leads me to something else I want to talk about the the new shows that you discovered because I, I the stranger I want to watch that when you took when you said that, I was like oh shit I want to watch it Dope. bro you know what's a banging ass show and I'm so mad that it was short it's right. something called shit I forgot what it's called fuck dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's called fuck up let you now go ahead yeah nah it's it's yo it's this fucking show it's banging it's like um I'm not okay with this oh we haven't watched that yet but it's on the list nigga Hey, bro, it's, a, it it's a really good, whoa. Okay. When you get to, like, I ain't going to say shit, but when you get to the last episode, you're going to be like, fuck, I wish this shit would go on for longer, and I wish it was next year so I can be watching this shit. It is, it is one of the best shows I've seen in 2020. Okay. Really? You're yeah, going to like really good. Stranger. That's why I was so like, far. let me watch that shit. Yeah, I'm about to fuck with that. Yeah. It's really good. We cool. watched that, uh, that Mark Wahlberg, well... We ain't watching that new shit that did. they promoting the hell out of. I heard it was it's good. Right. I told me it was really good. Yeah. Well, I fell asleep, I'm so I, I can't really consider watching it. I started watching it, and it was uh, you know sometimes I put stuff on and be like I'd be half tired nah. and pass out. Yeah. So I don't really count it. I put it on. I can I can remember certain scenes, but not a lot. Okay. So it seems you, like Dan? a typical Mark Wahlberg. Oh, he beating people movie. up. Yeah. Oh, right. It's like a more comedy version of how he was in uh, uh, what is it, Four Brothers? Oh, all right. He acts like a him, but, but he acts like him except he's him from the other guys. It's the other guys mixed with Four Brothers Wahlberg. I I think I think Mark Wahlberg because I thought in the other guys he was funny, but Will Ferrell made it funny. But he yeah. stepped his shit up when they did that um that Chris not the Christmas movie the stepdad movie, I yeah. thought what Mark Wahlberg did a really good job because he wasn't funny before when yeah. he did that um that stepdad movie man he stepped his game up comedy wise like motherfucker. Movie. I gotta watch both of them. I'm a slacker. Which one? Both of them. Both it's of them. funny. It's I'm, funny. I, yeah, because you know I'm a big Will Ferrell fan, so I you know I try to watch. Oh yeah. Put it out. So I've been slacking. <laughs> I don't know why. You'll love it. What you, yo, what you been watching, bro? Anime. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. The Virgin Diet. I got you. I can't even think of nothing else new yeah, that I've been watching. Watch. I'm an anime watcher with seven kids. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I've been watching uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That's my shit. <laughs> you virgin? <laughs> you still a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> I get the pussy, yeah? yeah you're good. You're good. You're good. Like, I got all my kids. That's proof. You know, that's, that's yeah. a myth. That's a myth. That's a myth? That's a myth. What's a myth? I used to fuck bad Jones and tell them I watch anime. They look at me like, I fucked you. You want some more dick, don't you? Yeah. Yo, I think anime, like, over the years, like, back in the day when we was kids, it was like, oh, shit, you watch it. Because I watched it, too, but not like that. But, like, nowadays, it's bitches that be watching anime. Yeah. You watch it's Dragon Ball Z, right? If you watch exactly. Dragon Ball Z... You watch anime. Uh, right. Yeah, it is anime. Right. If you watch Pokemon, you watch anime. That's pretty, yeah, that's true. It's mainstream anime. It's true. Kev, I don't know if you're skinning a deer or something like that, but we can hear all that shit. I'm trying to push the trash down quietly, but it didn't work out well. This nigga is still doing home activities while we're trying to do a podcast. How dare you? Life goes on. It's quarantine. I got to keep shit in order. You like a fucking Taliban with that fucking thing around your head. You it don't like matter you. now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going down. Yeah. Yeah. You and Drake look like y'all both about to give out a fucking message to the world that y'all something's about to happen. Don't do it. Don't. Don't you do have, it. You have five seconds all right. to give me all of your lotion. <laughs> America, send me all of your lotion. <laughs> Yeah, we'll keep going. Yeah, you just look like a fucking murderer, psychopath. Don't worry, they will kick his door in, and y'all really gonna get a fucking live show on today. Today, to I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be fine because my dog will take care of him. I got my dog right here. He's sleeping. And, but and mine is awake. 
But y'all can see how, how they're crazy. gonna kick your dog like fucking <laughs> like on anchor man. <laughs> no, because then I'll fucking go super when Jack saiyan Black on the start the fucking dog people off up. The bridge. <laughs> you kick you kick my dog, nigga. We going everybody gonna die. Everybody <laughs> dies. Case of emotion. Pew pew tonight. Yes, dog. <laughs> I feel him though. You fuck with my dog, bro. Yeah, you gotta die. Like I was watching a video the other day of like a pit bull, which I love pit bulls. Attacking this like beagle and like damn near killing them like like and they couldn't do shit about it the the pit bull wouldn't get off of them I ain't gonna front a nigga almost dropped a tear I'm like though if that was my dog Fight I'm jumping in dog. that motherfucker and I'm ripping Fight that nigga jaw right the fuck off Fight with my we, yeah my dog fuck fights. that nigga we up fight. we fight right <laughs> right my dog can't defend himself like that so yeah that dog that's all me I gotta yeah. be the dog's ass. Yeah, your dog is jumping, even though he was losing. Got right kick him right in the nuts. Nutsack. <laughs> Nutsack. Nut yeah. So, but, right. You talking about you can't break that grip? That'll break the grip. Your fucking mm-hmm. nuts will explode <laughs> out the back of your fucking throat. I don't give a fuck about the dog. Then I love dogs, so you fuck with my dog. And you ever get Vinatieri kicked in the nuts, nigga? Yeah. All that. You're right. All, them, all your nuts gone. No kids. Oh, no shit. pups. Yeah. No pups. No nigga. pups. I neuter dogs. You got no pups. That's in my spare got. time. That's that's what I've been doing in my quarantine. Okay. Neuter, never mind. Go ahead. What else y'all been doing? Like, I, like me, I've been doing house projects. I had to fucking do projects around the house. The sink what you do? To, well, the sink needed to tighten it up. I did that. I bought two new doors for my daughter's bedrooms. I installed them. My my wife's been painting my son's room for the past four days now. I don't know how it takes four days to paint a fucking room. And she has to get in trouble. She, she has a spray painter, which we're not there. Can't have some oh, she like this? Kick the door yeah. open. And it's I still know, right? taking four days. <laughs> Damn, bro. You talking shit, bitch? Leave her alone. Yep. yep, leave her alone. So kick the door open. The next thing you know, she's going to kick your chest through the wall. <laughs> right through the O and opinionated. <laughs> Hey, bro, shit, let her boy. do it because what's gonna happen is she painting that room and she keep giving you a list of shit to do. And she figured if she stay in that room, she ain't gotta help you do a goddamn thing. That's a fact. All good. Yeah. What up, John? You what good? up, bro? What up, brother? Yeah, what's going man. on, J.O.? What's going on? Shit, bro, but yeah, yeah J.O. On, J.O. on here too. Yeah, facts. We got it. Yeah. Like, what's um, doing back there, Rex? I know we like kind of touched on this shit earlier, but let's get back to it. I really want to get back to this because, I, like I said, I got to go to work tomorrow, Dre. I know you said you got to go work tomorrow. This bullshit they got is called essential employees. Mm-hmm. I'm a trash. I'm, I do trash. I ain't a trash. I don't pick up residential trash no more. I, mean, I deliver to businesses for as far as trash pickup. So I can understand why that's essential because you don't want trash piling up and rodents and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But they're trying to make GameStop employees considered essential mm-hmm. employees. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. You understand you don't want your PlayStation to fucking go down. <laughs> I, 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 I had this conversation with somebody uh, the other day, and I was saying, like, the GameStop employees, it's not a matter of, like, my thing is, and people don't understand what I'm saying. They think I'm just complaining or I'm lazy or something like that. But I'm like, no, companies are throwing tags, the essential tag on people who are just not essential and then putting them at risk for this whole thing. So with GameStop, I know why they're doing it. I buy all my shit from, from Xbox. I don't even Me go to too. GameStop. Them niggas is fighting for life, fighting yeah. for their life. If they go through this shit and this is certain like certain time, they're closing their doors. So I, I get it. I get what they try, but it's still bullshit. It's like, no, you're, they're not essential. Go a little tab in there for GameStop. If you buy games off the internet, I know for PlayStation, sometimes if your network goes, like your PlayStation network, sometimes your games acts kind of funky. Yeah, but even then, if you have a game, and first of all, when you buy a game, you have to download that shit when you buy it. And you need the motherfucking internet to actually download the game. So if you don't have internet, then it ain't no point of you even having the game nowadays. If your shit, if your shit get wiped accidentally, your wife comes in there and wipes your shit out and wipes your account out. What kind of marriage you got? 
I'm just saying, like even there, then, with a disc, it don't matter. Go in there and lock you and wipe your shit, and you passcode. You have no access to all the games you just downloaded. I don't know, bro. I had my games on there for years. I mean, but the thing, I, I know why GameStop is doing it, though. It's like, that's not the way we do things now. Like, you know what I mean? So, they have to keep that business. They probably was they probably was like on the line before, and now this is like, oh, we can't take this. If we if this happens, then we're, we're through. But other companies are saying, oh, shit, they're taking that model and saying, oh, shit, just call them essential. You can call them essential and we can keep business going. I'm not going to say what I do for a living because I don't want them to ever go and like try to use this shit against me or nothing like that. But you got guys who go into people's homes every single day and come in contact with everybody. And when it comes to like, um, when it comes to like ladders or trash or shit like that, there's OSHA regulations that we follow. And it's like, if you don't follow them, then this is the type of shit you can get hurt. That's on you. Well, for this shit, there is no OSHA regulations. They're just saying, yo, put gloves on. Or do this, and then you'll be safe. But that's not that's not the truth. None of that is well, the truth. Well, a lot of people don't realize there's gonna be a lot of fucking lawsuits after this for people who get sick. I agree. And was considered essential, and you essential. get a and you get a lawyer to look into it and say you technically wasn't essential, and you put your health in danger, and it cost mm-hmm. you X amount of dollars. Companies gonna get. get or they're gonna get be getting slapped with lawsuits left and right that could probably bankrupt some companies, depending on how you know how small they are. Small. In my opinion, yeah. But yeah. all the ones that say that we're essential and they really wasn't, and they say they got a hundred employees, but they're a small business. Now you get say you get sixty of them employees go to sue you for large amounts of money that could bankrupt your company. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Just because you wanted to get a couple of measly dollars. Yeah, Kev, I don't like he keeps he keeps lying to the government and they then took a <laughs> they, they the Taliban out. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> he'll figure it out. But yeah, shit shit crazy. And I, I had I was on uh online earlier and it was um you know um uh, one of my Facebook friends was like, you know, like kind of arguing the other, not arguing, but like um debating the other side, but it's like nigga, I'm not interested in the other side. Fuck the other side. Like like, you can you can argue that about anything. Fuck the other side, my nigga. Like, we talking about what's right and what's wrong. I know companies aren't concerned about right and wrong, but I'm concerned about what's right and wrong for me. Yeah. Is my point. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about what they think. I give a fuck about what's going on with me, nigga. You put me in danger. You know what I mean? It was niggas. Hey, hey peep this, right? It was niggas that used to go into like mines, right? Uh-huh. Like miners. That them niggas will get killed all the time. It was unsafe conditions until motherfuckers had to like come up with some safety regulations. But my thing is, I'm not willing to die for people to figure out, oh shit, we got to come up with some safety regulations for people. Well, this, that's it, what this is. Because this is all new to everyone, everybody. That's why the NBA, that's why all the sports leagues is shut down because nobody knows what to do with it. Yeah. Once this blows over, I'm pretty sure, hopefully, if we get a smart regime in government, which we don't have right now, currently, um, but if we get one in there that's smart and know what they're doing, they're going to put guidelines on if we face these situations again. You know, what is considered an essential employee? What is what is needed? What regulations, you know, you know, what businesses should shut down? What businesses should stay open? Uh, right. Who Who's going to, like, who's going to further the spread of the contamination? Like, like, um, like say if you're, if you work for, um, let's say, you work for Comcast. I'm not saying I don't. you work for I'm not saying you do, but if you work for Comcast and you're an installer, you're going right. home to home. You can, they want to consider you an essential employee. So now you're going home to home, installing, you know, cable boxes. You don't have the coronavirus. You may hit two homes up that people don't have it either, but you hit that third home that does. Yeah, now, it's the law of average. Yeah, the now law of averages. Now you, now you contact it. Boom, you get it. Now, another family that's out of the woods, who you go to the fourth home, another family that's safe that doesn't have it. Now, you can contract with this virus. Now, you go take this to this home. Now, this household is contaminated. Now, these right. people are contaminated. Now, once they, they thought they was free and clear, the quarantine's over. They go about state business and then go interacting with other people. You're going to continue to spread this shit. Right. To, be, to be real with you, People that got to, like, businesses that got to go in people's homes, 
door to door, they shouldn't be allowed to do it. That should stop. And only for the reason that I say it should stop is because, like the, with the, what I just said, you do three out of four homes and you go to that one home that people's contaminate. Now you brought your contamination to you, back to your family, and possibly the next home, the next couple of homes you do to people that's not contaminated. Correct. You're not, you're not slowing it down. You're just making it fucking worse. I mean, you it makes, are. Yeah. You are single handedly, like, say, if that's the case, and that's the way I see it, you are single handedly spreading it because guess what? It's people out there with it, like Idris Alba got it. Yeah. KD got it. They didn't know. They, they said, yo, I ain't had no symptoms. So that means right now, I could be walking. I'm not saying what I do, but I could be going around and whatever and giving it to people. I don't even know I got it. And what they're doing is they're, I can't get into it. I can't get into it. But there's, it's, it's deeper. It's deep. You have, audio, you have no audio. You have no, no audio, audio, brother. No audio. No Fuck. audio. The government Fuck. cut your dumb ass off. You fucking talking yeah. that Taliban shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Sign language? I don't know what the fuck. We, okay, we well, guess what, bitch? What? <laughs> guess what? I'm just saying, like, let's keep going. Keep but going. I'll I'll get angry if I talk about it because because people don't understand. There's only two. There's two sides of this shit, man. People who are like, yeah, you know, if they call you essential, then you essential. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If they call you that, and it's like, well, that's not quite true because GameStop called their employees essential, and that's complete. Completely not true. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. At all. Yeah. I can yeah. hear you. You sound like R&D saying now. Sound nice they and were, clear. They were like, close. Okay, like say game stop. <laughs> they're close. Right, listen. Somebody goes in there with the coronavirus. They're looking for games. They're grabbing this game, that game, this game. They're going there with no gloves on. They done contaminated a handful of games. You go yeah. in there, go get that game. Maybe you take home the contaminated game that they want. Well, yeah. Because there's no, there's no safety regulations. That's the point. You say they're essential, but you have no safety regulations to protect them. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't work. You can't have it both ways. That's 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 my only point. My essential, only point. Like essential employees that should be allowed to go out is people that have no physical contact with other humans. Like, like I'm I, limited. I'm a trash man. I'm not. A customer may come to me. But I can walk, leave my window wound up in my truck and my door closed and say and wave them off like or shout through the window, hey, don't touch the vehicle. We're not allowed to have contact with you guys. You know, we're supposed to stay six feet away from the truck. We don't want to spread this thing. Or, right. trash, or you're a trash man, you're picking up residential waste. That's kind of tricky too, because you're picking up you possibly you're touching people trash can. The shit's supposed to last on surfaces for eight days. But you're touching the trash can with gloves on. You know what I'm saying? But still, but you don't you're really not having that contact with people. Doctors, nurses, fire departments, police officers, those are the people that's needed because if a fire breaks out, you're gonna need the fire department. You know what I mean? Right. What happens to them people is they go put a blaze out, be in somebody's house. I'm pretty sure. The safety regulation will be you come back to the fire department after you've been out these two hours, but test you real quick, make sure you don't die, make sure we don't have anybody from the team or whatever. But you know what I mean? They only go into one house. That's it. Yeah. You don't get your dick somebody you dog. That's a weird thing to say. That is very weird to say. Yeah, that's a weird thing to say. Hey, what's up, Dash? All, all right, okay. All right. I just wanted people to see. The beam of sun that I have at home with me. Your dog just licked his nuts and then licked you in the mouth. My dog is a hell raiser. <laughs> You're a fucking asshole. You're a fucking asshole, dog. <laughs> at he some point his in the day, that might have happened. Yeah. At some point in the day, that might have happened. That's like that's like a that's like a <laughs> that's like the cousin of tea bagging. <laughs> he didn't get a clean lick. That motherfucker yeah. ain't lick my whole shit. I said he left. The, he left the dingleberries on your beard. Dre, listen, it's good. Look, <laughs> I got a hazmat suit. I'm protected. I'm protected. <laughs> he licked your face. That's the easiest way to get coronavirus. <laughs> but I might have it. And guess what? I'm coming to you. I'm coming to everybody's house. Exactly. Showing Everybody's up to bar mitzvahs. Everybody's house. Just, yeah. just yeah. there. What's up? They call me Corona. Corona Jenkins. Uh, yeah, CJ yeah. for short. 
CJ <laughs> Madam CJ Walker is what they call me. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now I'm here. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> But it's it's crazy out here. I think it's getting. Do y'all think it's gonna get worse or better? Like soon? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better. They're already yeah. predicting it to get worse. I feel like this shit is a whole ruse. I haven't heard anybody popular die yet from it. All old people. No, no, no. Somebody from New Orleans, supposedly a popular DJ in New Orleans. I know seven. I don't know if seven's still on here, but seven to know who I'm talking about. He was a DJ from New Orleans. He's popular. He died from it, but he died. He didn't die. He died from contracting it, plus having already an uh, illness that he was battling. So yeah. how did, his immune system. Yeah. Basically, how, how I'm guessing this virus kills you is you got to have already be sick from something else. And this, because of complications, how deadly, I mean, how sick this virus makes you, that you can't recover from it. Well, they, they said that, um, like, one of the, like, because a lot of people describe it as a, and mind you, I'm not a, I'm not a fucking um, expert on this shit. Don't hold us on this but shit. It's a flu, like it's a flu-like thing, right? Yeah. But what really is the issue is like, um, and I'm paraphrasing here that it turns your like, like it, it's like getting the, um, it, it fucks with your lungs, right? Yeah. So it's like getting uh, what's that shit where they fuck with your lungs and shit? Like, no, nah, no, nah, like when you get fluid in your lungs, what's that? Pneumonia. Or- Pneumonia. Pneumonia. So Pneumonia. it's it's. Yeah, it's like similar to that, but it turns your lungs into like gray jelly or something. I don't know. Somebody said it some way, but to gray it, jelly, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but apparently it makes it hard for you to breathe. So that's the thing, like coupled with like already being sick. If you have some immune system issues and shit like that, that's yeah. what can kill you. You know what I'm saying? Which is very scary when you think about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you ever had pneumonia or something like that, it's, it's it is scary. And you can't fight it, is what it is. If you have immune system complications, you can't fight it like me and you would. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it will overcome you. It will take, it will fuck your shit up. Damn, that's terrible. And so it, 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 it is cause for concern. And then I got some people who believe it doesn't exist at all. I'm, I'm kind of on that side, but I'm kind of not. We'll see. I'm on that side. I'm kind of on that side. I'm going to side of it doesn't exist, but the government is using this shit as a way to start sneaking bullshit in there. Like they already don't. They already gave the banks one trillion dollars a couple of weeks ago, and I'm reading again that they gave them possibly another one trillion dollars in bail bailout money. And and you know shit. When something like this happens, you know, as a president, you don't want to really leave office or give up this power. You can you know you can turn yourself into a tyrant. I was heard. I was reading earlier on uh, CNN. That they're trying to get rid of uh, some of the constitutional rights that you have, so like a right to a pretrial. Yeah. Yep. Like they want to get rid of that because they want to put it on pause. Pause, essentially. I, it's it's crazy. Indefinitely. Like, that's what's gonna happen. Like if people should like. People Once you start losing rights, then when martial law right. come in, it's like, oh, you're not doing what we asked, and we can put you in jail. There is no trial. You're just in jail, or they off you. Because yeah. they feel like it's 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 necessary. They they can possibly use this virus and and, and turn this into uh, Hitler's Germany. Population control. So I don't know. I, and I and and I and I when it when it comes to shit like this, I hate the. I don't even want to sound like I know because I don't what if know. Trump shit. is the Antichrist. I don't know enough about that either. You know oh, what yeah. I know? That Antichrist, I want. the Antichrist is supposed to come from the West, which we're located at. Uh, you're supposed to have, you're supposed to start off with we are famine. famine. I, I'm trying to listen. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Right. No, I'm just saying, you're supposed to start with famine, disease, and everything like that. So you're supposed to start turn. Everybody's supposed to turn on each other, and then you get what's called the mark of the beast, which you would need to require you to eat. You know, this vaccine to survive. You don't have the mark. You can't. You can't survive. And that's this vaccine. Yeah, this will start the apocalypse. The start. vaccine that they trying to come up with. Yeah. So you never know. These vaccines might. Ooh. I'm not getting vaccinated, brother. Might turn you into a zombie. You know who hey. You ready for the zombie apocalypse? But uh, we're hitting our time limit, so we gotta get the fuck out of here. 
Where are we going to go, Mars? We're going to go back to our daily shithole lives. I mean, our lives. <laughs> it is a shithole life when you're stuck in the house. Yes. Yeah, you're like, oh, let's go do something. We, it, it was like, oh, you can take a walk in the park. I'm like, all right. What we gonna for do? 20 minutes. And stay six feet away from anybody you don't know. Oh. While the, zomb- the zombie's Millie rocking outside your door? Just <laughs> <laughs> Millie rocking his shit. <laughs> Doing the what? It's our own biggest. I don't know what's. I honestly don't know what's gonna come of this shit. I, I know everybody think they do. I don't know what's gonna come of this shit, bro. There's so many ways they can hit you. I say. I, I do think it's hype. I say, regardless of what happens, make sure you stay in contact with your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Make sure the people you care about is good. You know what I mean? And just take care of yourself. Make sure that you do what you need to do to survive. And if it's just some bullshit, you, you're going to go back to your everyday work schedule in a little bit. And if it's not, you better be prepared for the worst to happen. You better know what you need to do to survive. All I need to know is if they're serving to the walking dead, I feel bad for a lot of people. Yeah, me too. I got and I got a PS announcement before we get off the air. Uh, What's that? To all my middle aged white guys, after the coronavirus leaves, please continue your practices of washing your hands after you take a shit or a piss in the bathroom. Because you know, we want to shake your hands. You're our brother in this, you know, on this planet. It's, Earth. Yeah, br- it's white people watching like no, <laughs> yeah. So no, practicing germs ain't real. <laughs> COVID-19. I washed my hands this morning. It was one time, and Watch that's enough for the week. <laughs> Watch a week. Because Dre said it before me. Big Dre said it before me, and I confirmed it because I've seen this shit happen multiple times. Middle-aged white guys, y'all don't like to wash, and young white guys, y'all don't like to wash your hands from what we see. I hope it's not. Listen, it's just- I, and I, I can say I, that a hundred percent. A hundred percent, I am a professional on this because my job, I'm traveling all over New Jersey and I have to use Wawa's all the time and all types of places that I wash my hands because I wash my hands after I take a piss. So I'm all over the place. And I've been doing this type of work for probably like 12 years and it's consistent. It's consistent. (laughs) Motherfuckers will take a shit. You smell them. You hear them. I'm taking a piss. I'm like, oh, damn. Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, you get out the fucking stall. Nigga, walk right out. I'm like, whoa. I if, I go, if, I go, <laughs> if I go into the bathroom, when I open the door, <laughs> when, <laughs> you need to learn telepathy to open the door. You got to turn to Professor X. <laughs> if like, I, like, if I go into my foot in the door like, ah, don't close it. Am I going to a public yeah. bathroom just to... I don't care if I felt like I spilled some on my shirt and I need a napkin to wash it off. I gotta wash my hands just from going in that bathroom because right. I don't know what the hell has been going on. And I pray to God that the doors are uh, already a open jar. so I could just walk in and out because then you gotta hold the door with the damn tissue. Hold it with your yep. foot. That, then pray that the Listen, if the trash can ain't by the door, somebody got to clean that up. Cause I'm, I'm gonna leave that right there. I'm gonna leave that right Yo, there. <laughs> and I know, right I, I know, you, and I know you're right because I've done, I do the same exact thing. Yeah. I know yeah, we'll you're telling right the truth. Yep, yeah. just uh, yeah, walk right out. Hold that yeah. shit with your elbow and some shit. Yeah, like y'all should have right known better. Out. How you gonna ask me to wash my hands and then walk back through this motherfucking knowing these white people? Because I mean, it don't necessarily be all white people. Some people, some niggas be dirty, but majority of the time when you see them, they they be they, they be they be with the less melanin of skin. And uh, speaking speaking of the devil, white nigga ain't wash his hand either. Yo, I just <laughs> I just don't understand niggas taking a piss or a shit. Like, come on, man, a shit. <laughs> no, we, yeah, yo. We really come gotta, on. Uh, yeah, yo. A piss is bad too. Don't get me wrong, but a shit. That's like it was, that's like he scratches ass and then see him put his hand out for him. Like, hey, Dre, how you doing? They be shaking niggas' <laughs> hands and shit like that. Nah, bro. I don't they know where you just shit it from. They want to give you a strong handshake too. The joint. The two yeah. hand. The two hander. Now, nah, don't give me that presidential handshake with Dookie on your hand. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh, here you go. What's up? Uh, 
Uh, elbow. Fist bump. Right. Fist bump. Fuck that, yo. Elbow. All right, yo. Oh, so, we just one of these. Yeah, oh, now nah, we got it. Yeah. yeah. Six feet, six feet, six feet, six feet. <laughs> now they don't follow that shit. I had niggas tell me, I ain't got the coronavirus. And hug you. No, nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> Nah, you've that, gone, you've probably gone in people's homes, and when you go for a handshake, they pull you in for a hug, and you be like, "What the hell?" And they kiss you gently <laughs> on the neck. <laughs> kiss you gently on the neck, like, "You here to fix my? Nah. <laughs> you here to fix nah. my things?" <laughs> hey, before all this, yo, before before all this shit, I had people hug me though. You like did. if I fix, like if I fix, I ain't gonna say what I do for a living, but if I fix like an a, a older woman, like black, usually black women. If you fix her if up, I fix their job. Nah, if I fix their <laughs> shit, and like, and I'm the only one that fixed it, and everybody else kind of just came and left. If I fixed it, then they'll like be really like, oh, I'm so so, thank you, thank you, and they'll give me a hug, grab it's your weird. ass. It's <laughs> it's like a it's like a it's like a aunt hug or a motherly hug. Oh, it's not like you, a you know what I mean. You fix grandma. Like shit like that. Yeah, like they, they be old. They be old. Yeah. Plumbing? <laughs> yeah. She gonna start calling you for all types of odd jobs. Hey, good morning, Dre. My shingles are broken. <laughs> Shingles. That bitch got now. She got shingles, nigga. <laughs> she got the shingles. She, she gonna ask you where you get that lotion on sale. At? My little secret. You so buttery, buttery soft ankles. My little secret. Buttery where the fuck did she get the? Ankles. Why did she get the my ankles? Buttery, she buttery my ankles? soft ankles. <laughs> I ain't never had a motherfucker hold my ankles while she was sucking my dick ever in my life. <laughs> you hold my ankles while you sucking my dick. You you deserve the award for sucking dick. You the shit. Hey, yo. That's hey hey Cam. That's what that's what your girl be doing to you. She be holding you up by the ankles. <laughs> holding you up by your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> girl, girl, you by the back of your kneecaps. My kneecaps. I would fall. I would fall. I'm yeah, trying yeah. to say you laid on your back. Oh, see like this. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, yo. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> No, bro. Oh, no. Bro. That's, fucking crazy. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, dog. All right, we, we got to end this shit. We got to end this shit. All right, so this this was day one of the quarantine uh, with the Opinionated Podcast. Once again, oh, man. we are your host. That's cool, Kev. Dash. And I'm Big Dre. Stay safe. Got it, bitches. Goodbye. Buy lots of water and panic. Cause I'm listening. They're panic, coming. Panic, panic, panic.